All right, everybody, I am trying my best to get this on video. I've tried my good camera with a macro. Um, it's just there's not enough there for it to focus on, and I can't get uh, as tight of a shot as I want on this. I'm sorry, I'm shaking all around. I'm really leaning over, wobbling, trying to get this uh, on video for you. If you've seen it by now, dead center of your screen, there's a little worm crawling around on that um, acrylic. This is my little five gallon mini bow. Uh, I use it just for growing snails for my puffer. But I've had issues in the past with the snails. As much as you would think uh, they would just grow crazy in there, uh, most people have issues with snails and they can't get rid of them. I can't get ahead of myself with the population. And the reason is, is these little worms. That there is planaria. I've done videos in the past where I've talked about the difference between the planaria and common detritus worms in your tank. And that's why I'm trying to get you a better view of this. If you can see the way it's moving along the uh, acrylic there, uh, it's it just moves in a different way than um, a detritus worm will. If you can tell, it's a very flat looking worm. Uh, and it's actually moving right past a little cluster of uh, snail eggs right there. I was, when I grabbed my camera and tried to get focused on it, it had actually stopped and was, uh, I assume, feeding on those snail eggs, which is why I can't get ahead of it. Um, detritus worms are tube worms, um, and I believe they're actually segmented worms. I think they are actually very similar to common earthworms, whereas these uh, planaria are flatworms and they look very different when you see them side by side. I don't have any of the other worms to compare them to at the moment, but more often than not when you see the little squiggly white worms in your tank and on your glass in the morning when you turn the lights on especially, those are just detritus worms. They're actually part of a cleanup crew or you can consider them that. They're not harming your tank at all. Uh, these are a different story. These are predatory and uh, they will uh, eat eggs. They'll even attach to some slower moving fish if they get hungry enough and will feed on the slime coat. They can actually injure your animals. Uh, if you have any bottom dwelling fish, these planaria can be really bad. Uh, another telltale way to know it's planaria is if it's got a sort of arrowhead shaped or triangular shaped head as opposed to the tube worms which are just little white tubes. Uh, the planarias very clearly have a head on one end, and it's an arrowhead shaped or a pointy type shape head. So I'm going to have to stand up before my legs cramp up too badly here. Um, I actually noticed about, I don't know, maybe a month ago that this tank had a ton of those planaria in it. So I decided I was going to sacrifice everything in the tank and just sterilize it and I dumped about a cup of hydrogen peroxide in there and I really thought I sterilized it. It wasn't enough to kill my plant. Uh, that's a java fern in there. Those are pretty hardy and I didn't dump a cup in. I probably dumped about three ounces in. Uh, but a five gallon tank, three ounces of hydrogen peroxide is a lot. So I dumped that in. I assumed it was going to wipe everything out. Uh, the the, the um, Worms on the tank just immediately went nuts and started scrambling everywhere and falling off the plastic and, you know, falling down to the bottom. And a lot of the snails fell to the bottom. So I thought I wiped everything out. I was shocked to see that the plant didn't die. I was even more shocked to see that the snails didn't die, or at least not all of them. Uh, I have not restocked this tank with snails. They've actually survived and are breeding again. And then I, today, right now, we are seeing my very first uh, planaria back in the tank. So despite that tremendous dose of hydrogen peroxide that would have killed any fish or invert many times over, pond snail survived it, and so did the uh, planaria. So let that be a lesson to us all. These little parasites are very, very difficult to get rid of sometimes. So that was just a brief little update. Um, again, spur of the moment type thing. Uh, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do so. That way you won't miss any of these little uh, quickies that I shoot like this. So stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you on the next one.